Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone at Narlo. Good boy. When we left off, we were out here in the wilderness of the Rythan Downs. We were just below... Where are we at? Just below Schulfig. I'm going to have to go back and remember how to pronounce that again. I think that's how you say it. Schul... Schulfig. <laughs> Oh, I've been, it's been said that I enjoy saying the name. I do enjoy saying the name. It's quite a fun thing to say. All right. So we were out here. We were doing the Deadly Freeze. And we were doing the Worst Winter in Memory. And the Howls on the Cold Winds. And trying to find out Unwear Welcome. Killing the White Hand Orcs. We were defeating the Barghast. Finding those berries that we're going to take back that are all frozen solid and investigating the effects. And we've got a guy named Clampjaw down here. That was an area. One of the area uh, quests that popped up while we're here at this pond. So we're going to see if we can take Clampjaw on. It is a named bar guest. And any of y'all that play D&D know anytime you run into an NPC that has a name, it's worth paying attention to them. They're just, they're not, their name isn't Bartender. You know, they're, they've actually got a name. So it's like, uh-oh, the DM put some work into this one. We had best be prepared. Okay, so as soon as he comes back this way, we're going to stab him in the back. He has got significant more. He has got two-thirds more hit points than we do. So we definitely want to make sure that we use every trick on in our book we're going to try to reveal weakness on him we're going to try to lock him down right here with a diversion as he comes by let's go ahead and reveal weakness just as soon there we go now we're going to divert him oh he resisted huh well let's go ahead and stab him in the back anyway there we go get him in the butt Hmm, this is one of those where I might should have tried using a little... One of those where I should have thought to use a little food first. It looks like we're going to pull this off okay. And our burglar heal has kicked in, so that's good too. Defeated a bar guest. Four of eight. Quest ready to advance. Clamp Jaw's Wrath. You had defeated Clamp Jaw, menace to all who ventured too near the Barghest infected ponds of the Writhen Downs. Wildermore Corn, Steed Experience, Legendary Item Experience, and Increased Rep. And we had our item leveled up again, didn't we? Oh, there's a lot of stuff right there. What do you say, stuff? There we go. Earned 34,680 experience. Our bridle leveled up, our mace leveled up, our burglar's tools leveled up, our steed leveled up. Very nice. All right, let's get on out of here. We didn't find anything at this particular pond that seems to... Anything at this particular pond that seems to help, if I remember. So we have got a couple more to check out. Since we get away from this bar guest, I will look at the map. And we'll take a look. There. Let's take a look at the map right quick. So we've tried that one. And I know we tried this one, I believe. Let's go around. It'll be interesting. I don't remember which ones that we tried before. I'm going to head over here and look at that one. Hmm. I think I may need to go back and watch the video again. In fact, I think I may do that. Let me go back and watch the end or, or scan through the other video and see which of these lakes we've actually visited so we don't do a bunch of backtracking here. Because I'm thinking that one we actually went to. So I will see y'all again in just a few minutes. Welcome back. We went and took a look at the video, and then we went and uh, visited Schulfig up here. And let's see where we're going to go now. Let me see here. 
Uh, looking at the video, we've gone to that one, that one, that one. I passed this one, I think, on my way back around, so we're going to go explore these two. I'm thinking this one down here above the T, but we'll go right off the road and explore what these two have for us. Baccaran. No, we don't want to go see Baccaran right now. Especially since that reminds me of... Of the frog people from the Fiend Folio. Bunch of raspberries and more howling, howling bar guests. Ooh, I don't know what was on our tail. We had a Hindraval. But apparently it gave up. It is gone now. So let's see if there's anything else down here. That... Branches and a cave with a bar guest in it. Another Hindraval. Yep, we've aggroed a couple of things. So that was this one. Let's head on across to the next one now and see if it has anything down here on it that might. More white hand orcs. Oh, we got a lot of those we need to kill, don't we? We still have to find the actual... Actual thing that has to go with the epic book. We've still got to find... Alright, let's get off a damn horse. Yeah, we could have fought him on the horse, but we just don't like the horse combat, do we? Let's take them on out and then see if this lake has any of the stuff. So we still gotta kill some Vargas. See if it has any of the stuff that applies to uh, what's going on with the lakes. What is that? Oh, that's a, a orc scout on a on a war, isn't it? Not seeing anything. Fish get the effects at the Withers Down Ponds. Well, I think we've been to all the ponds now. Unless we miss something. Defeat bar guests near the frozen ponds. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to kill some of the bar guests here. And we're going to head back to the other pond. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything like at that cave or something. Did I need to be closer to it to have the have the thing trigger? Kind of like the one where the one we're just riding onto the pond talks about how the it's so cold that the ponds don't normally freeze over. We'll also take a quick look at the map and see if there's any other ponds. That's six of eight Vargas. Yeah, see, I mean, they're right here. This is the Rhythm Downs. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go back over here and visit this one again, okay? Just to be sure. Let's go all the way to the end of it. Yeah, I don't want the Warband quest, okay? Not interested in the Warbands right now. Thank you. No, nothing's triggering. Let's go visit the other pond again. I will search these areas and uh, we'll be back to you, I guess. Here we go, taking a yet another break. I'll see y'all in just a few. Well, wandering here, we killed quite a few orcs that for some reason have continued to be here instead of rotting. That's interesting. You see, I wandered along and killed all three of them along here. Quest ready to advance, an unwarm welcome. Huh. Let's check right here. Is there a history? Yeah. Orcs roam the Rhythm Downs in great numbers, prowling to and fro, as Thyron describes. Just to defeat orcs as you wander. Okay, we did that. Defeated a number of scouting orcs at the Wold Witherdown's border, but the enemy presence still presses on the lands. Okay. Very nice. Completed an unwarm welcome. Alright. 
Well, let's get back over to that other pond. I guess it's nice that we don't have to... Let's turn our name back on. Don't have to constantly go back and forth to the... To the quest hub. If you're going to do these things in the form of having a quest hub... I suppose... I'm wondering, do I need to get close up to that cave right here? Let's take out that Bargus. We've still got a few of those that we need to kill. Still got a couple that we need to kill. Let's get here and see if going in this cave might trigger something. Oh, it looks like a mammoth head inside there. Not a mammoth, a, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Auroch. Looks like a big old Auroch head inside there. Didn't know there were Aurochs up here in this part of the lands. That's seven of the eight Aurochs. Yep, that's definitely an Auroch skull. But coming up into the snow cave, into the, the icy cave here, has not caused anything to trigger, so... Or in this one. Alright, so where the heck is the, the rest of the... Find out what's happening around the lakes. Don't know, we'll get this last bar guest. Lock him down. Yeah, quite snow covered too, I hadn't really noticed that. Even the bar guests have snow in their furs. Nice, nice uh, texture change there for them. Howls on cold winds. Okay, let's get over here out of the main path and we'll take a look at that one. Howls on cold winds. Bar guests roam the Rhythm Downs, filling the cold winds with their hungry howls. You should defeat them in the wild Wither Downs. That we have done. So let's complete that one. Defeated several of the dangerous wild bargusts in the wither at Rhythm Downs. The deadly menace of the hungry beast is lessened for a time. Boy, we're getting plenty of steed XP. I guess we got a lot of stuff that we're going to have to see about leveling up there. Alright, still not finding any... Still not finding anything here. That has to do with the, the cold and the winter. I wonder what the third thing could be on these ponds. Alright, that was that one. We've been to this one. I know we've been to that one. Have we been to that? That little bitty thing? Maybe we haven't been to that little bitty thing. Let's go up that way. Maybe we have to get right freaking on it for it to register. Tell you what, after all this cold here, I'm going to be ready for the summer fest here very shortly. Ready to get back to it. However, I've also got to say that, yeah, we did this one because I think this is, is this the one with the frozen critters? No, this isn't the, yeah, this is the one with the frozen critters. So we hit that one first. That's one of the first ones we came across. you would. Look, I don't need you anymore, okay? You are perfectly free to go about your business without me having to come and kill you. Oh, well. We're gonna keep searching ponds because before we go back to, uh, before we go back to Thrym's camp, I do want to be able to finish up both of those scenarios, with both of those missions with him. So, it seems like every four or five minutes we're stopping here, so I will see y'all again, and hopefully it will be for the last time, and then we'll go visit Thrym. See you very shortly. We have returned. We have been searching for quite some time. Apparently, nighttime was the best time to be out here, because I finally see this tree over here flashing. It took it, everything getting dark for us to see this frozen tree. So let's come on over to it. Excuse me. Mm. I think this cold is starting to get to me. I really need to uh, get someplace warmer soon. What does it say? 
a tree that was unable to withstand the sudden and persistent change in climate. Unused to the harsh tr climate, this tree has died. So return to Thrym Redbeard and let him know about the worst winter in history, in memory, and let him know about the deadly freeze. That's what we're going to do now. Let's see. His camp is exactly to the north of us. Let's get ready. Mount up on our Rohan steed if we're going to be riding around Rohan here. And get up to Thrym's camp. And I think we will call it... Ooh, that smarted. I think we will call it a adventure at the end of that. And I probably should have gone straight on up on that particular road. So we're going to try to swing back around and get on it again. Hendravals and horses, and I think this is the way to the camp right here. Let's avoid some of these warriors and all. We're not looking for a fight right now. We just want to get back to back to where the camp is. And there we are. Good. Let's dismount. Walk on in and get a close-up view of Thrym and the boys. I'm still still worried about him. The fact that. Old Redbeard has put his camp in the end, we talked about it last time we were here, put it in the end of a dead-end canyon with all these, all these rocks up above his head that people can get on top of and drop things down. Not very smart there. Not very smart at all. Not very defensively minded. All right, Thrym, we got a couple of quests to turn into you. Look at the deadly freeze. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. What do you have here, friend? Spoiled frozen berries, I see. I worry for the farms of Wildemore. I have no fear of orcs, but I believe Garwig must be warned of the effects of the cold, heavy though his burdens are already. Shufig is in the nearest town, and we should hurry there to brace for an orc attack. Once that danger passes, let us ride in haste for Forlaw to warn the Reeve. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. And the coming storm. We should live for Shufig now, for my scouts tell me that an orc attack looms near. We tried to cut them down on the field, but for everyone we failed, two more took his place. I will meet you there with my men if you wish to ride ahead and warn Thane Sinegar to ready Shufig for the attack. Please help him however you can, for he is the father of my betrothed. So tell Thane Sinegar of Shulfig that battle looms near. That we shall do. Oh, the worst winter in Min. Thought we had done that. I do that. not know if we will survive this onslaught. Thrym's face is lined with worry as you relay your findings to him. I do not like this at all. I am a warrior and I will drive the orcs off. But we are a simple farming folk here in Wildemore. We live off this land. Even if we are safe from orcs, we cannot escape this strange weather. Awesome. Bunch of leveling up. Bunch of stuff over here I need to take care of. What else we got? Oh, deed bestowed. Okay. Orc Slayer of Wildemore. Defeat many orcs in Wildemore. Okay. And to do that, we have to defeat a hundred. And so far, we've killed four. All right. That is going to be a heck of a deed. We shall look upon that sometime. In the meantime, we are going to call this disjointed ramble an episode here. Let's break out our pipe. Have a little smoke with Thrym. Help him relax and maybe take his mind off of some of the cold issues he's got. There you go. Next time, we will be heading to Shulfig to uh, talk to the Thane and let him know about the cold that comes and the battle with the orcs that's coming. We'll see you then. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.